welcome to the Lady Wing Designs channel. My name is Zakia, and we are here for another whip update. So, uh, welcome to all the returning viewers, and a big welcome if you're a new viewer. Um, a couple of you have left comments recently saying that um, you recently found the channel and you're watching back episodes, so I hope you enjoy them. Um, I do have playlist for all of that so that you don't have to scroll through the video section if you don't want to. Um, but yeah, so thank you to everyone that always comes back and hangs out with me. I really appreciate it. Uh, today is Wednesday, September the 9th, 2020. This is a crafty channel, um, which you probably know if you're here, but maybe you don't. Um, maybe you just randomly found found a cross-stitching video on YouTube. That should be an interesting day, I think. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, so this is a crafty channel. Mostly cross-stitch, but a decent bit of knitting also. And yeah, so look at that. I got through my intro in like a minute. That never happens. Okay, I don't have that much to show y'all because for once, I'm back within a week. <laughs> And um, I pretty much focused on one project all weekend and haven't really done a lot of stitching since then. But there's still, there's still a few things to show. Don't fret. So first, I'm going to mention some sows that are happening. Um, well, one that's kind of already started and one that will be happening soon. So um, last week in my episode, I was talking about... Um, Thanksgiving. It's one of the projects I'm working on. This is by Tilton Crafts and um, I was saying how there's this giant ass pumpkin in the front and I was like hmm that should be a sow. We should... Okay first of all there is a giant pumpkin sow happening. I think it's it's either giant pumpkin sow or the giant pumpkin sow. That's the hashtag. Um, I can't, darn it and I can't remember who's doing it. Is it maybe, is it maybe Pumpkin Hollow Quilts? I don't remember. But there is like a giant pumpkin sow happening. I'm not sure if it's pattern specific or not. But anyway, regardless, so I, I don't know, use both hashtags I suppose. Um, but I was like, there should be a giant ass pumpkin sow. Like, it's fall. We should totally do it. And then Michelle, good old Michelle Bindi, was like, so I found the perfect pattern. What's the hashtag? When are we starting? What's happening with this? And I'm like, well, we'll start whenever because September means fall. <laughs> and um, like, why not? Let's just go ahead and do it. So she's already started her project and she's already on the pumpkin at that. Um, Thanksgiving is going, is supposed to be my project for that because, you know, that's where the idea came from. Um, the goal is hopefully to get to that pumpkin before fall is over, but we'll see. Oh, speaking of that, um, so while I pull this up, the hashtag for that sal is hashtag giant ass pumpkin sal. Real simple. Um, so this, I saw this yesterday. Um, it's a new pattern release from Cherry Hill Stitchery. And, wait, what, what's it called? Hold on, sorry. Um, it's called In the Pumpkin Patch. So, it just released yesterday. How stinking cute is that? So, yeah. I, I think I need to stitch it now. Um, I don't know when. I still haven't bought the pattern yet. But, that's happening. At some point, that is totally happening. So, that's one sal. And then, um... Whoops, well, now I'm just taking random screenshots on my phone. That's fine. Welcome to life with me. Um, and then the other style is a squirrel and his nut. I mentioned this um, last time, but, you know, wanted to mention it again. Why not? Um, yeah, so this is by Luhu Stitches, a squirrel and his nut. We're going to be starting this, at least Michelle and I, I'm not sure who else is doing it. Um, but we're going to be starting this on the 22nd of September, first day of autumn. So yeah, I actually need to, I think that I had fabric picked out for this, but now I need to make sure. And I need to figure out what colors I'm using. 
I'll have to check which of these colors I have. From first glance, I have most of them, actually. Okay, anyway, that's something to figure out at a different time. And that one is, uh, darn it. I think it's just a squirrel in his nut sow is the hashtag. Hold, please. <laughs> I forgot to check that. I totally forgot to look at that before. Um, Michelle and I both agree. Simple, hash like, transparent hashtags are the way to go. <laughs> there, there are so many styles happening. Like, I just need to know what this one's for, actually. Yes, hashtag a squirrel and his nut sow. And I'm pretty sure it hasn't been taken yet. So, no, it hasn't. So, there you go. Okay. I think that was all I wanted to say in the beginning. Oh, okay, something else fun. But we're, I guess we're still an admin, whatever, PSA, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, it's September. It's gearing towards the end of the year. So, all, not all, but at least two of the challenge groups I'm in. Maybe three. Has Semi Sane announced their events for next year yet? I'm not sure, but now I need to check. <laughs> um, so both Magical Stitches, which is School of School of Magical Stitches and Literature on Facebook, it's a group. My TV is still on. Um, so they announced the book series for next year, and full disclosure, I like I haven't really been participating this year because Disney is not my thing. It was Harry Potter last year, so of course. But um, I mean, you know, Disney's cool, but like it's not it's not really my thing. So. Um, and I've just been very off and on with challenges this year, so I haven't been participating this year basically at all. And I was like, okay, you know, the, whatever the book series is, is pretty much going to define whether or not I stay in this group for next year. Because, you know, I never get on the group, so why, you know, it's fun, but like I'm not going to be a part of it if I'm not posting at least. Um, but anyway, the... The book series for next year is Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. Y'all, I'm so stoked. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about that. Um, that was actually the book series that got my brother. So, okay, background. Again, stay with me. Are you here for all the rabbit trails? I hope so. <laughs> um, so, when we were growing up, I was, like, my brother was always the kid that wanted video games, and I always wanted books. If I didn't have crap all over my living room right now, I would, like, take a nice picture of my bookshelves and, and show you. Like, it, my parents brought me another bookshelf because I needed more space for my books. Guess what's not on the bookshelf? Yeah. It's covered in yarn. <laughs> and that was not what was supposed to happen, but anyway... Meanwhile, I've still got, like, books on the floor. It's fine. Stupid. Um, anyway, so... <laughs> it's my own fault. That thing's been here since February! Oh my gosh, yes. They brought it in February. It's fine. <laughs> the yarn looks pretty on it. But anyway, so... Where were we? So, um, I was a big reader. And my brother would read every once in a while, but, like, he wasn't big into it. And the Percy Jackson series was the first series that like he really got into and like was wanting to read after that um you know of course he went but like it only lasted a little while because he's still definitely a gamer and i'm still definitely the reader um in that regard even though i'm not like reading a ton anymore um but yeah anyway so when he started reading that series and he loved it i of course like i was always reading anyway so of course i read it also um he read the whole thing. I think I made it through, like, maybe part of book three. Or maybe I didn't start book three. But I'm super stoked. Because I've wanted to finish that series for a while. And go on to Rick Riordan's other books. Um, and my brother actually did. He went on, because uh, Rick Riordan... Well, now he does, like, Rick Riordan Presents. Where it's, like, other authors um, writing about... Like, it's all kind of, like, mythology, that type of thing. I don't want to say folklore, because I don't know if that's the right word or not. Um, but, yeah, so, Percy Jackson starts off with Greek mythology. Um, 
and then he has other series that are are different um, cultures. I'm super stoked about it. <laughs> I'll finally get to finish that series because I really enjoyed it, and then maybe I'll get to some other ones. So there's that. Um, okay, but anyway, then the other group, um, Full Coverage Fanatics, also released their events for next year, and I am, oh my gosh, I'm over the moon. So um, last year and I guess the year before, so 2018 and 2019, they did By the Numbers, which was a monthly event, and you aim to reach either 1,200 or 2,400 stitches on your full coverage, obviously, pieces. Um, and they did that, and then this year, they were, they're doing the National Parks Challenge. Anyway, I'm not, go watch uh, Kim Hollenbeck. I'm sure Anne Fiber Floss and Fiction talks about it on hers as well. Um, and it's like in the group and stuff. But anyway, they're basically like kind of combining those two events and um, they're doing like a, I forgot what they call it, bookshelf challenge, I think, for next year. I'm really excited about that. If I do nothing else, I'm going to be doing that. I'm really stoked. Okay, anyway, so, yeah, anyone else looking <laughs> looking forward to 2021? You know, I think we've all been <laughs> looking forward to it for most of the year. But anyway, so that's some fun things that are happening. Um, how, see, this is why the videos are always long. This was supposed to be short, and here I am rambling. It's fine. Um, okay, yeah, so gearing up for 2021. I think that's all I wanted to say. After I, like, thought about that. Now I have to write that down, because I'm going to forget I talked about it. So, let's go into, I just name dropped so many people, y'all. <laughs> I'm like, what? What do I do? Oh, I gotta remember to check Simi Sane stitchers to see if they, uh, maybe, I don't, I don't think they put up stuff for next year yet, but now I don't know. Okay, so, F.O., which means finished object. So there's not, well, I guess it doesn't matter what the complete picture looks like, does it? I'm just gonna show you, because <laughs> I finished it. So this is Hello Pumpkin. It was a sow that came out last year, 2019. And it is by Caterpillar Cross Stitch, which y'all know I love Sally's patterns. Um, yeah, so here it is. I'm trying to like, I don't know which way is the best way to hold it lighting wise. It looks okay. So there it is. Oh my gosh. I'm so stoked y'all. It looks so good. Okay. And now that I'm looking at it, there was one area and I'm not going to tell you where, um, where like three different leaves were off by one stitch and I was kind of worried it would mess up the circle, but it didn't. It looks fine. Um, yeah. Yeah, it looks fine. Okay, anyway. Oh my gosh, look at it. I love it. So I didn't change anything at all. Um, and you can see I, um, I've i been keeping it in here because this was actually the first uh, sal that Sally asked um, if I would like to um, receive a kit and talk about it on the channel. So this was kind of exciting. Like, I, I finally <laughs> finished this one. Um, I really, I really enjoyed working on this. So it started down here for, uh, part one from the first part. And you can see my signature there under the mushroom. So it started down there and then we just kind of slowly worked up every month into the tree. Whoops. Let me hold it closer. That was the whole point. So I just love it. And then uh, one of my friends pointed out that there were, uh, she was like, oh, wait until you get to the by leaves. And it was really funny because I immediately knew what she meant. <laughs> and, I, you know, it was one of those things where, like, you know, sometimes you're like, what, what, what are you talking, like, what do you mean? No, I knew what she meant. <laughs> she was like, wait until you get to the by leaves. And somehow my brain understood that that meant it looked like the bisexual flag, pride flag. Like, I don't know. I don't know how I got it, but we were on the same wavelength. And I was like, what? Where are they? Like, I need to know. 
So, and this is just incidental, you know, it's just the colors that Sally put together and they just happen to look like the bisexual pride flag and I love it. So there's that one. You can see like this one has a tiny sliver of pink at the end. So pink, purple, blue, and then um, this one over here. I love it. I'm like, dude, that makes it even more perfect. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Also, can I just say, um, it was really funny because this hedgehog was like basically, I mean, you can tell just from looking at it, it was basically confetti. And I kind of had a good laugh. I was like, you know, I don't know if I've ever done confetti in <laughs> Sally's patterns. Um, but it was really enjoyable, and I love that little hedgehog. It's so cute now that it's done. It was a, it was a pain on my eyes, though, to stitch. <laughs> but it's okay. It's fine. I just hadn't prepared myself that it would be, like, confetti. But it's okay. I love it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so there's that. We're going to stop. I, I'll stop holding it up now, I promise. So this is on 16 count Ada. Like I said, I got the kit. Um, it's white Ada. And it's all charted in DMCs. Um, and this was the floss card. Now, can we just talk about... Okay, first, I'm going to... Um, okay, well, let me... Okay, brain. <laughs> Ridiculous. So... Um, when I use these floss cards, the system that I use, okay, so this one had 14 colors, right? And I love that, um, if you've never seen one of these before, Sally has in the kits the uh, color chart, and she tells you what whole each of the colors is, so you don't even have to be like, which one is that? Like, it says it's in number six, go to number six. So, okay, you can see down here, this one had 14 colors, so these are the first 12 and then 13, 14 and are up here. So what I do, um, so I will pull a strand and if you didn't know, I'm not going to pull it all the way off, but I'll demonstrate. Hopefully you can see this. So you can see like if I'm getting number one and I need a new six strand, um, you can kind of, whoops, you can kind of see there are two like little loops there. One for, one is a six strand, the other one's a six strand, right? Um, and if you didn't know, like, you can do this on uh, Fancy Floss, too, I think. Or, I know, because I do it on most of them. Uh, but you can just pull one of those and pull it all the way out, and there's your whole six strand. And you don't have to take the whole thing off of, off of the card. Just tip. I think I learned that from Caroline off of her Needle Arts and Lifesaver. Um, but anyway, so I'll do that, right, if I'm, like, getting a new six strand. And then what I do when I'm putting that back on here, I'll just jump across if I can. So, like, 13 and 14 ended up being, like, on there, and so did 11 and 12 because there's stuff across from it, right? But all the other ones, pretty much, um, I will put, like, if I didn't use the rest of the two strands that were on my needle those go over here and then there's the rest of the six strand that I had pulled so that's kind of what I do and then everything's just like across from each other um, yeah and I mean you can see like in 12 it's all of it so it's the new six strands the one that I started off of and then the rest of like whatever was on the needle so yeah but also can we just talk about like look at how much floss is left y'all like Sally gives you way more than enough floss. Oh my gosh. Like, I, I'm kind of curious, um, I'm kind of curious to know if I could, like, stitch this pattern again, you know? Or, I mean, even if I got most of the way through it, like, it's all DMC and most people have DMC or some type of substitute, so, like, even if, I, you know, like, I ran out of something, like... I don't know. I'm just, I'm blown away by that because this is the first one that I've finished <laughs> that I've had a kit from. So, um, yeah, just blown away by that. Oh, I totally didn't show you the back. Um, but yeah, there's the back. Again, a ton of color changes, so it's actually pretty neat. Um, I do jump, like, if I know that something's gonna get worked over, well, this one I actually, like, ran it through so I didn't have to cut 
because I'm just lazy. Sometimes I'm like, yeah, it would say floss to cut it and restart it, but I'm just lazy and I don't feel like doing that. So I'll just drag it through to where I need to go. Um, I was trying to find... I'm not really sure now of like an area where it happened, but very frequently, like if I know that an area is going to get worked over, I'll just carry the floss across like an empty space, like whatever. Like if I know it's getting worked over, then it's not going to be visible because there's going to be stitches right there. But that was Hello Pumpkin, so that is done now, um, which was really exciting because, like I said, I started it last year, so... Now I just need to get back to positivity rules. Hopefully before the... I, the last part releases at the end of this month, so... It would be nice to catch up before then, but we'll see. So, the next... Pro oh, there's the pattern. So, the next project... Or, well, now we're in whips. Works in progress. So, um... I mentioned that I was going to focus on this one for my Friday Off the Grid project. This is uh, November Cottage from Country Cottage Needleworks. And, well, um, I went to my boyfriend's Thursday night. And I pretty much was there until Monday night. Because he had a long weekend um, with the holiday and everything. And so... Um, yeah, I was basically just there until Monday. And the only project that I had was Hello Pumpkin. Well, and I finished it on Sunday. So I had Hello Pumpkin, and then I went home on Sunday, and then ended up going back anyway. Um, but I grabbed another project, and I was like, okay, since I didn't work on November Cottage um, Friday night for Friday Off the Grid Party like I wanted to, I was like, okay, let's work on this now, because I was actually very much feeling like, hey, let's aim for a finish on this. And then I lost my stitchy mojo, because basically was monogamous on cardinal points, and then was basically monogamous on Hello Pumpkin. So I was just kind of tired out on the stitching. Um, and I still haven't come back to it just yet. So, I need something. Um, so this is where I am. I think when I showed y'all this last time, I had like the house and started the turkey and the acorns, and then I just had this uh, yellow leaf right here. So, as you can see, I've done all of this, and like all of that down there is filled in. I just need to do the like bottom. Of course, I put the pattern back in there because, of course. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, I just need to do hands, get it together, like that bottom line there under it. And then now I am basically working up here on the leaves and things. Um, yeah, so when, <laughs> when I started working on this and like counting off of things, I don't know what happened. This one over here, I wasn't paying attention, so you can kind of tell that it like there's an extra like two stitches here. Like this one should not be there. So it's a little longer, whatever. Like I can make that work. So then I'm like, I came up over here, did the turkey and stuff, and then I'm starting on the leaf. Well, somehow over here, <laughs> this branch, I don't know if it's the same on this one, um, but this branch, because I tried to like count up from the turkey and start down here and, you know, get up to here so I could travel through, um, like on the back, weaving my ends and stuff. But anyway, so this branch is one stitch higher because like all of this is right. So I don't know what happened. And then I was looking at the house and like, I don't know. I, I don't even know y'all. I'm kind of concerned that the house is one stitch too tall or something because like something is off. I don't know what happened. <laughs> of course, I'm not going to rip it back. Like it's fine. But I was just like, what happened? <laughs> Like, I was not paying attention while I was stitching this. Anyway, it's fine. So, um, yeah, I've pretty much been working on the yellow. I'm, I was kind of having second thoughts about maybe this yellow is a little too, like, pow in your face for fall, but, like, I don't care. I'm not ripping it out. It's my favorite color. It'll be alright. It'll be alright. It's gonna look fine. Um, I just need to get more of the other colors in there. 
but yeah so that's where I am on that hopefully I'll get back to it um, soon if not like it's still definitely what I want to work on for Friday off the grid so hopefully I will actually pick it back up this week and work on it um, Grime Guard is Marauder's Map Marauder's Map that sounds better <laughs> uh, from Silver Moon Sewing this is uh, 32 count light mocha Belfast linen and the needle minder I actually got so I got this from a Michelle Bendy auction um, and Barbie's pedal pusher was uh, like a donating the stuff in the auction um, and then I went back and I, I typed in I think geometric needle minder uh, into Etsy and I found it I don't remember the name of the shop that I found it at um, but yeah, try typing that into Etsy or on Google or something, Geometric Needle Minder. There might still be a few more floating out there. And there's a, um, there's a teal one as well. Because I got that one for my mom. Okay. The other stitching project. So, um, okay. I will pop in a picture here of where Snape was last week. And y'all know that I don't like do the whole before picture thing very often, but <laughs> I didn't do too much on Snape and it's kind of hard to like tell because there hasn't been like a significant amount of progress. Plus, I mean, you know, anyway, it doesn't matter. There's the picture of Snape. <laughs> Whatever. Um, so I was, background before I show you this. So I was supposed to work on, um, Thanksgiving for the words the Tour de France challenge in full coverage fanatics that they're doing this month along with La Tour de France um, so Thanksgiving is supposed to be the main goal and Snape is supposed to be the stretch goal I think I'm gonna have to switch that <laughs> because Snape at this rate is definitely gonna be done first um, which is fine with me but I might have to just switch the words around there. Um, but yeah, so I had finished, not where y'all saw it at last week, I hadn't finished up through the first rest day just yet, which was a little over 1,500 stitches. So I got that done a couple days before it, and I was like, okay, I'm not allowed to work on Snape again until like after that rest day. I'm going to focus on Thanksgiving nope because <laughs> last weekend was uh they did a confetti conquistadors weekend in that group as well to like work on your project that had a bunch of confetti and i was gonna work on thanksgiving but i didn't take it to my boyfriend's <laughs> and by the time i came back to my place on sunday i was like well the weekend's over i'm just you know i'm not gonna worry about it whatever plus thanksgiving has like the Q snap, the floss buddy there's another box because the floss buddy doesn't have all the flosses like I just don't like traveling with it places unless I'm like at my parents house or here pretty much um, I don't really like taking it over to his place I don't know why not but regardless um, so I didn't take that over there so I didn't work on it whatever hoping to catch up on it so I picked Snape back up because I lost my stitchy mojo and I was like I want to work on Snape now <laughs> So I have been. So I'll pop up that before picture again if if I didn't if I had popped it up at all because I'll know when I'm editing. Like just wait. So this is where I am now. So I think I was there's some stitches that like told me. Oh, because I filled in that row now. Durr. Durr. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I was uh, somewhere up here, I don't know. So I finished this diagonal because now, um, yeah, that looks better from back here. So you can see, um, again, this is the ears of the Patronus, the top of the doe's head. So I finished that diagonal that, that was on and um, did a few more stitches up here and that was the rest day. And then um, now I'm pretty much you can kind of tell there. So most of these boxes are like filled in from when I was working the confetti before. So I'm pretty much just back to working in my diagonals now. And you can see that I'm stopping like right here, which is the halfway mark. 
um, that right well yes that line of stitches right here um, that is the halfway point vertically um, yeah so I'm super stoked so I'm working everything down until that point and then he will be going on well he'll either be moving down in this Q snap or I'll put him on the 11 by 17 it depends on if I can get all of them the red, like the bottom half into this whole Q snap which I think I can I'm super stoked about this though it's coming along well and I'm really enjoying it it's just so it's so good to stitch on y'all um, also I'm a huge fan of 18 count 2 over 1 for full coverage projects it's like my new favorite um, okay so again Grime Guard from Silver Moon Sewing like I just said 18 count white Ada working at 2 over 1 full cross because that's what I do on 18 count and needle minder from 1884 stitchery and wax whoops it's always upside down and the wax seal you can see it sparkles uh, from simply serving HK yay Snape so there's that and then knitting whips so well I'm gonna talk about this one last because this is the exciting one <laughs> um, Hold please. I need to write down more names. I'm gonna forget these. I, I gotta do it, y'all. There's like fluff floating around everywhere. I don't even know who else I name dropped. <laughs> okay, I might actually have to listen to myself during this one so I can get all the links. So this week, again, this is so well I think I showed y'all last week. Like I keep both and it's just dark. <laughs> I keep both sock whips in there because um, they both fit. Whatever. So this is my Harry Potter bag from uh, Manicori, Manicori Creations. Why could I not get that out? And this is a skein that's almost gone now of... I can feel the tag on the inside. which I really could just throw it in the bag from now on. Oh, okay, throw it in the bag. Did anyone out there start singing that song? It's super old by Fabulous featuring, um... No, I was right, Fabulous featuring The Dream. And then there's a remix, and the remix is like just as good. <laughs> anyway, okay, whatever. That came out forever ago, oh my gosh. Anyway, um... Patton's Core Socks, and this is the colorway Gray Brown, Gray Brown Marl, and this is what I have left, so you can tell, like, there, there's no center, well, it's actually pulling from the outside, not the center, so it's almost done, y'all, like, it, it's almost done. I've maybe got, like, another repeat, I think, one, two, maybe another repeat, I think it ends on the red in the middle of a red so we'll see um but yeah so this progress keeper is cheshire cat from my beloved adoria and that is where i was the last time that y'all saw this sock that i actually like showed it to you so there's the whole sock tube um, i'm doing this one toe to toe and yeah so that's how much i've gotten done since like i said since y'all saw it last Yay, almost a whole repeat. Um, so I will move this up now because I will totally forget to do that. Especially on this sock. Um, I don't, I haven't really been knitting. I thought I was going to get back into like a sock bug, like I, which I've really been wanting to do lately because I miss knitting socks, but hasn't happened just yet. So there's that. I'm knitting these on um, US double zero, which is 1.75 millimeter. Uh, Chowgu Mini Twist Interchangeables. I love Chowgu Interchangeables anyway, but um, I was going to say regardless, but um, the Mini Twist are really nice for socks. I think they're, they go from a triple zero to a size one, a US one. Triple, double, single. 
one, they must do one and one and a half. I think that's right, because there are five, when you, you can buy a set of the uh, twist, the mini twist interchangeables, you can buy a set of them, um, and it's five sizes. Anyway. Okay, this goes back on the bed. And then, oh my gosh, y'all. So, I don't even know how this happened. I think it was because I had lost my mojo, and I was like, I don't feel like stitching, so let's knit. Like, what am I going to do? Blah, 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 blah. And then there was a Ravelry rabbit hole, and, like, my anxiety spent, okay, so possibly TMI, but whatever, this is real life, um, it's that time of the month for me, and I always know, because I get super irritable the week before, like, people annoy the F out of me, y'all, <laughs> like, it's bad, um, and the other way that I always know is because my anxiety gets super high, so keep that in mind and I was going down a Ravelry rabbit hole while I lost my mojo trying to figure out what I was going to start and it needed to be the perfect project and like it was a whole thing like so much so that I almost just said forget it and like was just going to sit here and play games on my phone like I was stressing myself out trying to find a good project yarn like combination it was can I just say I miss two years ago when I had like two full cubbies of like stash yarn, a fingering weight yarn I use, I miss that. I need to get back to buying yarn. Like cross stitch is great, but I need to get back to buying yarn. <laughs> anyway, so I decided to start, I should have had a picture pulled up. What am I doing? Y'all, what am I doing? Okay, I'm just going to put up a picture on the screen when I edit because your girl is not thinking right today. So this is the Siki Shawl by S-I-K-I, in case I don't put it on the screen. Um, so this is the Siki Shawl by Dawn Henderson, who is at dawn.landix on Instagram. Um, L-A, land, like land. And then IX. Anyway, so this is where I'm at. Um, and it's a free pattern, so I'm not going to be giving away any of the secret sauce. Um, Chevis, if you're watching, I'm thinking of you. <laughs> um, Chevy Rail, go watch her. You're going to love her. She curses a lot, but it, like, it, you know, she, she says what she wants to say. But oh my gosh, is she like, you can't get through an episode of Chevis without crying laughing she's amazing she's totally worth a binge watch from the beginning just saying um but anyway so this is my CP shawl <sighs> isn't it gorgeous i love it so uh it's doing like a weird triangle thing it'll block out it'll be fine um the ribbing has to it's doing that because the ribbing is like pulling in so like i said it's a free shawl again this is another uh Come on, Piglet. This is another My Beloved Adoria Progress Keeper. I think I mentioned before, she did a Winnie the Pooh series, so it was Eeyore, Tigger, Pooh, and Piglet. And yes, I have all of them, because I love Winnie the Pooh. Um, and, and then she also did the Cheshire Cat one. I can't remember if there were others that she did. Anyway. Um, yeah, so this is where I am on the shawl. You can see I've done a good bit already. Um, I just start, today's Wednesday, so I just started this Monday, and I think it was like Monday night by the time, or Monday evening by the time I got started. Um, so yeah, so on the front side, it is, I'm trying to like use the light to my advantage here. So on the front side, you're working a half twisted ribbing because you twist the knits and not the pearls. An actual twisted ribbing, you would knit the pearls, or you would pearl through the back loop just throwing that out there I heard that somewhere like years ago and when she in the project page the pattern page for this she was like half twisted ribbing and I was like this makes sense in my head I get it um, but anyway so you're doing twisted knits on the front and then on the back it's just regular ribbing which does look great like it still looks amazing and see it looks bad see maybe I was judging it too much in person it does look really good on screen it looks great both ways like it's totally gonna be a reversible shawl um, and then it's got this really nice garter edging I love a good garter edging 
but um i darn it and i meant to grab that yarn so um I'm, I'm in love with this y'all I don't know what else to say about it I am seriously in love with this it's super it's super easy to work on I have it's a four row repeat and I've um, I've memorized the pattern because once you know like there are increases and once you know what you're doing where you just need to be able to read your stitches because you know the ribbing's gonna like stay in pattern so um, yeah it's it's super simple highly recommend it's like just simple enough that I don't need to think too much but it's really interesting as well um, so this is the yarn that I'm using and I, you can tell both are attached because I'm alternating skeins um, so I actually frogged another shawl I so I had knit like a quarter of the, a shawl with this and then um, I like I think that I didn't like there was something about it I can't remember but I didn't like it so I had ripped it out which is why um, both of these have like yarn wrapped around the center so I ripped that out and then I started that shawl like that exact same shawl over because I it wasn't the shawl's fault I there was something or rather it wasn't the patterns fault it was something that I had done with knitting it or whatever oh I think I had like legitimately messed up in the pattern <laughs> And I was like, well, darn it, like, that was part of the design that I liked. So I ripped back, and I had done, like, this much of it again. Um, and so when I settled on the Seeky shawl, I decided I'm just going to rip that out. And um, I started this. So I'm alternating skeins because you can see this one's got a lot more dye in it. than this. Like, it's more saturated. Um, but it's turning out beautifully with the alternating so this is Stranded Dye Works um, on her MCN base, which is Merino Cashmere Nylon. It's 80-10-10, so 80% superwash merino, 10% cashmere, 10% nylon. It's super soft and I love it. And this is the colorway Metalsome. I got it a while ago, but I love it. Um, okay, and I'm knitting this on... Um, what size is this? Again, chow goose, you can tell because the red lace cord. Um, this is a US 3, 3.25 millimeter. Um, I think I, I went down like two sizes from the pattern because I'm a loose knitter. Okay, so that was it for whips. That's pretty much what I've been working on. When I get done on here, I'm going to go back to knitting because <laughs> I'm just really enjoying it. And um, plans, not that much really. Um, so the next spent, so November Cottage is not on anything. It's not part of the Sal September sampler September plans that I had. I just want to get it done. Um, so the next one that got spun for that is um, Sweet Freedom. So I did the dice again and it chose Sal again. So uh, when I went to the random name picker, <laughs> I was like, I had already said in my head, okay, if Positivity Rules comes up, I'm going to go again because I had just finished Hello Pumpkin and I don't want to do too much of one designer. So naturally, Positivity <laughs> Rules came up. So I was like, okay, like the next time that I like pull, like that I roll the dice and it says I need to do a sale, I'll do Positivity Rules. So um, I told it, told it to choose again and it chose Sweet Freedom. So, no progress on it since when I showed it last, but hopefully that will come out soon because I would like to work on it because that would be another finish. <laughs> um, so there's that, and then hopefully, like I said, get back to Thanksgiving because Giant Pumpkin and Tour de France. Why can I not remember that today? Um... Okay, and then, hold, I'm going to grab this yarn. So, you might recognize this yarn from uh, the baby blanket, the marled baby blanket that I'm supposed to be finishing for my best friend, who's going to have her baby, like, any day now. <laughs> any day slash week now. <sighs> well, you know, I'm not working on the blanket. Tragic. 
hopefully I'll get uh, back to the baby stuff this month. Like, that's part of the... Oh, I didn't even mention that. Anyway, hoping that I'll get back to the baby stuff um, in the next couple months for sure. But anyway, so this yarn is... That's upside down. Not helpful. This is Loops and Threads Wool Like. Um, this is the Michaels brand of yarn. And I absolutely love this yarn. I've gushed over it before. It's super soft. It's a light fingering weight. And you get um, 678 yards in one skein. Like it's 100 grams. And you're getting almost 700 yards of a light fingering weight. Like y'all, it's amazing. So um, I have two of these, which makes for quick math, quick math. Not going to be quick because... Have you met me? <laughs> what is that? 1360 roughly um, yardage. So that would be a giant shawl. And I'm going to make another Seeky. <laughs> I have already decided because I'm that in love with this shawl. So, um, oh, and what I'm actually planning on doing, like I really like the back, how it's uh, just a regular knit one pearl one. Like it looks nice and it's a nice like breather return row but I actually prefer the the twisted rib side so when I do when I make this shawl both sides are going to be the tw the half twisted rib I'm super stoked about it I'm really excited so now I'm like totally wanting to finish this one so I can start this but also, so this was the other thing that I forgot to mention. Um, I've talked about it before on this channel, the Harry Potter Knitting and Crochet House Cup on Ravelry. And I will leave a link. It's on Ravelry. Like, there it is. It's on Ravelry. <laughs> and I can tell you now, they're probably not going to be moving that group anywhere. I, I mean, I can't say that for sure. I haven't run anything. These are just my thoughts. Um, there are five different groups involved with that because there's one for each house and then there's like the main group for the whole cup with the classes and things so it's on Ravelry that's all I'm going to say um, which I need to go in and read on Ravelry and see where they are with like making that easier to access for people I should check on that as well um, and if you know like feel free to comment below um Ooh, and there was a question that I answered, but I want to answer it on here too. Okay, so whatever. This video is going to be an hour. Oh well. Um, so anyway, I'm back to participating in the House Cup. I've been SOS for maybe an entire like calendar year now. Um, there are three terms within a year. So the, each term is three months long. So the fall term is September, October, November. And, um, and then you get a, after each term, there's a break month. So, like, the break month would be December. And then the winter term starts back up in January. So, anyway, um, I've been SOS student on sabbatical for a while now because, you know, I just got out of it. And I've definitely been stitching more than knitting. So, um, yeah, but anyway, I am sorted again. I, um, I asked to be sorted again this term, and y'all know I'm in Slytherin because... I don't even know why I tell people I'm technically a Ravenclaw. Like, I don't claim Ravenclaw. It's horrible. So, yeah, I'm back with my Slytherin peeps. I need to go check in with them because, oh boy, do I miss them so much. Um, but, yeah, so I'm using, I'm using this for a class. I think it's the, I don't remember which one exactly. Maybe it's Care Magical Creatures. I don't remember the prompt, but, like, the creative part of the prompt, but... Um, you have to work on, you have to craft something that's 50 yards or more. So I'm probably already over 50 yards of yarn. But yeah, so I'm doing that again. And then someone asked in the comment section of the last video, and I just thought I would put it, you know, in a video because you might be wondering. Um, which also, like, if y'all have questions, like, feel free to ask, like, on Instagram or in the comments below these videos. It's totally fine. Um. Yeah, and I'll generally, like, answer you there, and then, I don't know, maybe I'll actually, I probably won't do, like, a Q&A bit on the channel. Who knows? I'm not holding myself to anything. But, um, you know, if there are questions that, like, other people ask, and I'm like, they're probably, yeah, or that people ask, and other people, I'm like, 
they're probably wondering, you know, why not put it in an episode? But anyway, so someone asked um, how I organize my patterns that are not in Pattern Keeper. So, and I should have, um, I should have prepped this by like taking pictures. <laughs> Did I do that? Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm only partially prepared for this, y'all. Like, only, come on, come on, tablet, you can do it. Cooperate. Okay, so here's my pattern keeper, and um, barring the Hade patterns that had um, like the new, the like new versions of them because of the 0809 situation, um, I need to go in and put those in here. But I have all my Hade patterns and my Carolyn Mannings, like all of my full coverage. Oh, excuse me. All my full coverage pieces are in here. And then there are some that aren't full coverage that, like, if they work now, like Plague Doctor, Hogwarts Castle, that's full coverage, but it's an Etsy pattern. Um, Love and Unity, like, those are also going in now because, you know, if they work with Pattern Keeper, um, they'll be in here because I like Pattern Keeper. But um, the person was asking, how do you organize if it's not on Pattern Keeper? So, um, and all of my patterns, whether they're on PK or not, um, I have on my laptop, which I'm pointing at y'all, I'm recording on my laptop. On my laptop, I have, um, like a crafty folder in the document section. This is super detailed, but whatever. <laughs> um, that's, this is the type of person I am, y'all. <laughs> so, um, I have a crafty folder and when you open it, um, there's, again, folders. There's a crap ton of folders on my laptop. So, there are more folders. There's one for cross stitch. There's one for knitting. There's one for house cup, actually, because um, sometimes I have separate files and pictures and things for that. So anyway, that's there's another folder in that in the crafty one actually for like YouTube episodes, so I can put all of the video recordings and things there. So there's that. So um, when you go into either, okay, I'm gonna describe both of them. So when you go into the knitting folder which I still need to go through and like do a big reorganization of this one but m a lot of my patterns are just kind of there because I used to just save the patterns in the knitting folder. What I'm what I'm doing more now is um, I have different folders like for shawls, for socks, for cowls, for um, I have one for my test knits like you know there are just different folders for different types of the knitting projects and then within those I have folders for each designer and then in the designers folders are the patterns right makes it easier to find for me um, and you know you can always just search your documents for whatever file you're looking for I do that too um, and then in the cross stitch folder so you know crafty folder and then if I click in the cross stitch one all of that like from the beginning I did it this way all of my cross stitch stuff um, is in folders by designer so um, if I know that I'm looking for a heaven and earth I'll go to cross stitch find heaven and earth designs and then all of my hate patterns are there um, you know that's just the easiest way to do it for me so um, yeah even if there's only like one pattern by that designer it that designer has a folder and that's where the pattern is um, and I do it that way for my Etsy patterns for everything um, so if it's a PDF, that's how it's organized. Um, the paper patterns, <laughs> there's no organization there. I have some, there. there's a good bit that's in like the Ottoman because that's where I first started keeping stuff and then I had a bunch of stuff and now there's like a whole other bin. That, ki that bin kind of holds my whips and things though. Maybe I'll actually like show you all this in a in a vlog or something one day um it's crazy messy like there's really no organization to the paper charts plus there's just my whole living room is my craft room y'all <laughs> it's ridiculous um but yeah so that's that question answered if you were wondering like i said um feel free to like ask other things um in the comments about life about cross stitch like it's whatever um I'm honestly like, I don't know, like, I'm an open person if you ask me things, you know, and they're appropriate. Like, 
I don't mind talking to you about this stuff, but I'm not the type of person that's like gonna offer information like freely, really. I think y'all know what I'm saying. So, you know, ask, ask if you're wondering, it's fine. <laughs> like if it's an inappropriate question or I feel like, you know, it's too personal, like I'm gonna tell you that. So no harm in asking, I suppose. Um, but yeah, so somehow <laughs> this video has turned into an hour because I just like to ramble and I know y'all like to listen to me ramble. <laughs> I know y'all get it. So, okay, I am realizing now that it is 12.30. My eyes just like started watering for no reason. That's fine. Oh gosh, everything's like blurring now. Okay. Is that my body telling me that it's time to eat and uh, stop rambling at the camera? I think so. <laughs> so until, um, hopefully, I'm really hoping that I can do, that I can record my craft with me video either Sunday or Monday. I was going to do it today and make that the video for this week um, because it's going to be a, maybe, we'll see. I kind of want it to be a bit of a longer craft with me. We'll see how that works out because... Um, I mentioned in the last video I'm gonna name drop um, who I watch on Flosstube and then I also want to talk about like what I'm watching on Netflix, what I'm reading, that type of thing. It's just gonna be like an entertainment type thing. Um, and it's actually gonna be that for a couple weeks. I'll explain that whenever I film it. But um, yeah, so I'm hoping that that will come out either, like I said, either Sunday or Monday. I, I need to record it first. <laughs> um, but yeah. So hopefully um, I'll be back in a few days with that. Y'all have got some long videos, so <laughs> if you were bored and didn't have enough floss tube, here you go. And it's almost the weekend, so if you're like me, there's about to be a crazy amount of notifications because so many people upload on the weekends. Love it. But anyway, I hope y'all have a great week. I hope you're staying safe and sane and healthy and um, just being kind to yourself. It's it's still a hard time for a lot of us, so be kind to yourselves, y'all. Be kind to other people. Check in on your friends. Uh, yeah. Okay. Until next time, I will talk to you later. Happy crafting, y'all. Where's my mouse? <laughs>